National Geographic Kids Alien Ocean Animals by Rosie Colosi Out of this world, the deepest parts of the ocean are some of the last places on Earth left to explore. It's hard for scientists to travel there. It's nearly freezing and almost completely dark. Animals that live there look different from animals in other parts of the ocean. You might even say they look like aliens from outer space. Let's dive in and meet some of these alien ocean animals. The submersible, called Deep Sea, explores the ocean floor near Cocos Island, Costa Rica. Enter the Midnight Zone. The ocean is divided into three main areas, Sunlight Zone, Twilight Zone, Midnight Zone, Sunlight Zone. Depth, sea level to 656 feet. People usually fish and swim here. Twilight Zone. Depth, 657 feet to 3,280 feet. Only a small amount of light filters through and the water gets colder. Midnight Zone. Depth, below 3,280 feet. Temperatures can be close to freezing and it's almost completely dark in this zone. Since there's no sunlight, plants can't grow here. Weird but true. An area called Challenger Deep in the Pacific Ocean is the deepest place on Earth. At 36,070 feet deep, it's deeper than Mount Everest is tall. The Midnight Zone is the largest habitat on Earth, but it's hard place to live. An ocean creature living there has thousands of feet of water above it. All of that water presses down, causing anything floating there to feel a lot of pressure. The deeper an animal swims, the more pressure it feels. Few animals can survive this high pressure. Since no plants and few animals live there, not much food is available for animals that live in the midnight zone. Water words, habitat, a place where animals or plants naturally live. Pressure, the force pushing on something. Light in the darkness. Sunlight doesn't reach the midnight zone, but it's not completely dark. There's still some light. It's light that the animals make themselves. Spine. The Sloan's viper fish is one of the fiercest animals in the deep sea. This viper fish has a long spine with a tiny light patch at the tip. The light dangles above its head and flashes on and off. Prey swims closer to see if the light is food. Then the viper fish bites the prey with its sharp teeth. Water word. Prey. An animal that is eaten by another animal. Many predators have light that attract prey. But the small toothed dragonfish has a special red light that most fish can't see. The patches of red light under its eyes help the dragonfish find prey in the dark water. But prey can't see the dragonfish coming. Waterward, predator, an animal that hunts and eats other animals. What kind of animal goes best with peanut butter? A jellyfish. The long arms on this squid easily reach out and grab prey. The Atlantic long arm squid has rows of light patches on its long arms. The light patches make the squid's prey think it's a jellyfish. The prey thinks a jellyfish won't harm it. So when the prey swims close enough, the squid can grab the animal and eat it. The Atola jellyfish's nickname is the alarm jellyfish. The Atola jellyfish uses light as an alarm. If a predator tries to attack this jellyfish, the jellyfish screams by flashing blue lights around its middle. The lights spin like the ones on top of a police car. The lights attract the attention of other, bigger predators. The bigger predators attack the smaller predator. Then the jellyfish has a chance to swim away. The lights of the Atolla jellyfish are blue. Blue light travels the greatest distance underwater. Alarming Attraction The Atolla jellyfish alarm system works so well that scientists use the idea to create electronic jellyfish, or e-jellies. An e-jelly has the same flashing lights as the Atolla jellyfish. 
It also has a camera to record animals that swim by. Scientists hope to study large predators like cutthroat eels that the eat jelly's lights attract. Open wide. Animals in the midnight zone have adaptations that help them live there. In the deep ocean, there isn't much to eat. So many animals there have special mouths to help them hunt and survive. The hairy frogfish can swallow prey as big as its own body. When it spots prey, the frogfish stretches its mouth up to 12 times wider than normal. Gulp, the fish swallows the prey whole. Then the frogfish closes its throat so dinner can't escape. Weird but true. Hairy frogfish aren't hairy. Their hairs are actually small spines that cover their bodies. Water word. Adaptation, a behavior or physical trait that helps a living thing survive in its environment. Frogfish, a reef fish gets close to the mouth of a striped hairy frogfish. A moment later, only the tail of the reef fish is visible. The hairy frogfish has swallowed it whole. It's hard to find and catch food in the midnight zone, so animals must hang on to their food once they've got it. The frilled shark uses its 300 teeth to capture prey. Each tooth has three points that look like needles facing backward. If this shark bites a fish, the fish won't be able to escape. The frilled shark has rows of sharp pointed teeth that easily grab and hold on to soft prey. Weird but true. Frilled sharks are called living fossils because they have been around for 80 million years. Atlantic wolf fish have sharp fangs to grab prey. They also have three rows of powerful choppers to crush shellfish. Their hard-working teeth wear down and fall out once a year. Then they grow a new set. Weird but true. Wolf fish even have teeth in their throats. The fang tooth has the biggest teeth for its size of any fish in the ocean. Its teeth are so big its mouth can't close completely. Since the fang tooth can't see well, it finds food by bumping into its prey. Then it sucks the prey into its mouth and clamps down tight. Though its teeth are big, the fang tooth's body is small. It's only about 6 inches long. Staying safe. With so many powerful predators in the deep sea, some animals here also need special ways to defend themselves. One type of sea cucumber, called a sea pig, can throw up its intestines when it feels threatened. This will confuse and scare a predator, causing it to swim away. But don't worry, the sea pig can grow new intestines. Weird but true. The sea pig has legs on the top and bottom of its body. Another type of sea cucumber can slime a predator if it gets bumped hard enough. The predator is so surprised the sea cucumber has time to escape. The slime also leaves a glowing cloud on the predator that warns other prey to stay away. This sea cucumber is sometimes called the headless chicken monster. What did the shark put in its salad? Sea cucumber. Hagfish also slime their predators, but it's more than just a warning. When a predator bites a hagfish, the hagfish makes slime. The slime swells when it mixes with seawater. It fills the predator's mouth and gills, making the animal choke. Then the hagfish can slip away. Hagfish can make buckets of thick slime within minutes. The giant isopod rolls into a ball when attacked. Then its tough shell protects its soft belly. This defense works so well that many predators don't bother an isopod at all. Giant isopods are meat eaters. They mostly eat the bodies of animals that have fallen to the seafloor. Giant isopods can grow more than 14 inches long. Deep sea animals like the isopod often grow bigger than some land animals. Scientists aren't sure why, a similar land animal, the pill bug, is only about a half inch long, yet a giant isopod can grow to be about as long as a house cat. Weird but true. 
These creatures are so loved in Japan that people have found cases shaped like giant isopods. Six cool facts about ocean exploration. One. In 1964, the Alvin was the first vehicle to take humans to the deep sea. Since then, it's helped people make many discoveries, including hundreds of new sea creatures. 2. Scientists can study deep sea animals by using traps called landers. Landers have bait, seen here, and motion activated cameras. They can film animals and bring small samples to the surface. 3. Underwater drones are small remote controlled vehicles with cameras. They film areas in the deep dark sea where humans can't go. The Five Deep Expedition, which started in 2018, is exploring the deepest parts of the ocean to find new species and map the seafloor. 5. Grapefruit sized robots called Miniature Autonomous Underwater Explorers MAUEs, give a 3D view underwater. They also help track movements of tiny deep sea animals called plankton. 6. The exosuit is like a spacesuit for the ocean. It helps humans fight extreme ocean pressure to study things like how deep sea animals make light. Hidden away. This is a close up view of a pram bug. It's inside the body of an animal called a salp. Weird but true. The pram bug is so creepy that people say it inspired sci fi movie monsters. What is the difference between a piano and a fish? You can tune a piano, but you can't tune a fish. The deep ocean floor is pretty empty. There aren't many places to hide when a predator comes your way. So, many animals have camouflage that hides them from danger. The pram bug uses its victim as camouflage. Using its sharp claws, the pram bug cuts open prey and eats it from the inside out. Then the tiny creature hides its eggs inside the prey's body. This keeps the eggs safe. This pram bug and its eggs are protected inside the salp. Waterward Camouflage An animal's natural color or form that helps it blend in with what is around it. Some creatures have transparent bodies that provide camouflage. This cockatoo squid is sometimes called a glass squid. Humans can see the patches of red light on its body. But many midnight zone animals are not able to see the color red, so it looks invisible. This is what the cockatoo squid looks like to most animals in the midnight zone. Its red patches aren't visible. Waterward, transparent, see through, or clear. The sea sapphire is also transparent, but it sparkles with bright colors. Scientists think this may signal other sea sapphires. Shiny plates on the males reflect light made by other animals. The other animals see a flash of color, then the sea sapphire seems to disappear. Sea sapphires shimmer with color for only a few seconds at a time. Eyes of the Deep Many deep sea animals have special eyes to make use of every bit of light in their deep, dark home. Mantis shrimp have compound eyes with thousands of little parts that can each see light. These parts work together to spot food and avoid predators. Mantis shrimp can see 12 to 16 different types of light. Humans can only see three. Water world Compound eyes. Eyes that are made up of many smaller parts working together. The brown snout spookfish's eyes are divided into two parts. One part looks up to spot the shadows of predators and prey, the other part looks down to find tiny flashes of light from other animals. Using a special curved mirror in its eyes, the fish can look above and below it at the same time. It looks as if the spook fish has four eyes, but there are only two. The top and bottom parts of each eye are connected. Vampire squid have the largest eyes in the animal kingdom for their body size. Their eyes capture light to spot bits of food called marine snow. Waterworld Marine snow A mix of tiny creatures, animal remains, and animal poop that floats down to the bottom of the ocean. 
The telescope octopus has eyes on long tubes that stick out of its head unlike other octopuses. How do you make an octopus laugh? With tentacles. Each eye can rotate in a different direction from the other. This helps the octopus see all around it. It swims on its back facing up to avoid predators and to find prey. The telescope octopus is mostly transparent. Predators can only see its stomach and eyes. Underwater Party Animals In deep waters, animals mostly live alone. But scientists found areas where many different types of animals live together in groups. It looks like a party. These animals live near hydrothermal vents. Here, the water is warmer and there's more food to eat. Near the vents, Yeti crabs farm their own food. Bacteria get trapped and grow in the long hair on the crab's chest and arms. The crab uses its mouth to rake up the bacteria and eat them. This Yeti crab was found in the dragon vent in the Indian Ocean. Water words, hydrothermal vents, openings in the ocean floor that releases warm water and minerals. Bacteria, certain types of tiny living things that are so small we need a microscope to see them. Giant tube worms live in groups around the vents and grow to be taller than a basketball player. The tube worms don't have mouths, but they don't need them. A type of bacteria lives inside the worms. The bacteria take the chemicals from the vents and change them into food for the tube worms. Hottest of homes. Eyeless shrimp live inside the hydrothermal vents where temperature can rise above 700 degrees. Because these shrimps can live in such harsh conditions, scientists think they might help us learn about life on other planets. What do you call a fish with no eyes? Fish? Giant tube worms can grow to be 8 feet tall. A lot more to explore. Scientists have discovered a lot of unusual and alien looking animals that live underwater. But humans haven't explored 95% of Earth's ocean yet. With new technology, who knows what we might discover next. A diver studies a helmet jellyfish. People in a mini submarine view a giant barrel sponge on a coral reef near Curacao. Quizwiz. How much do you know about alien ocean animals? After reading this book, probably a lot. Take this quiz and find out. 1. Where in the midnight zone do animals live in groups? 2. What does the midnight zone not have? 3. Which animal can throw up its intestines to confuse predators? 4. Yeti crabs eat. 5. Which animal has the biggest teeth for its size of any animal in the ocean? 6. What is the name of the first vehicle to take humans to the floor of the deep sea? 7. How much of the underwater world is left to explore? Glossary Adaptation, a behavior or physical trait that helps a living thing survive in its environment. Compound eyes, eyes that are made up of many smaller parts working together. Habitat, a place where animals or plants naturally live. Predator, an animal that hunts and eats other animals. Pressure, the force pushing on something. Bacteria, certain types of tiny living things that are so small we need a microscope to see them. Camouflage, an animal's natural color or form that helps it blend in with what is around it. Hydrothermal vents, openings in the ocean floor that release warm water and minerals. Marine snow, a mix of tiny creatures, animal remains, and animal poop that floats down to the bottom of the ocean. Prey, an animal that is eaten by another animal. Transparent, see-through or clear. The end.